This is the time of day when we do evening devotions, and we usually read a couple of chapters from the Bible first, and I use the King James Version of the Bible. This is the Bible that my parents gave to me when I was a young girl, and I've always read from it, and I love it. And we use a few things when we need to to help us understand some of it, and one of the best tools there is is the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance written by James Strong. It's a very big book, very thick, and I've probably had this maybe for 20 or 25 years, and I've had to tape the binding on it, and we use this anytime we want to look something up. It has both the um, Greek original words and the Hebrew original words, the Hebrew from the Old Testament, Greek from the New Testament, and we can just look up, you know, if we're reading along and we see something we don't understand, we'll find the word, it's a dictionary, we find a word in the dictionary, and then it refers us to the original word, and we can better understand it in that way, and this is excellent. Also, you can use a Webster's Dictionary, and this is also one I probably bought it around the same time, 20 or 25 years ago. It's the American Dictionary of the English Language, no Webster 1828. This also is very large, and we look up our words, and what's really nice about this one, this dictionary, is sometimes there are Bible references and definitions in here, and I love looking stuff up in this dictionary because you, as you're trying to find your word, you see several other words. And it's extremely educational, and it's just wonderful to see the different words and their meanings. And it's just, you learn so much more rather than just looking up one specific word on the computer or whatever that we do nowadays. And it's nice to just try to find the word you're looking for and see so many other words and, and the references to the Bible. It's just beautiful. So that's 1828 Dictionary. And then after we read the Bible, we sing from our hymn book. And we use Soul Stirring Songs and Hymns, which was published by Sword of the Lord Publishers. And I believe we got this maybe in the 1980s or 1990, early 1990s. And I just have folded the pages of the songs that I know well. I don't know all the songs in here. I just, there's some favorites that I know really well, and I fold them so that we'll say, we'll usually sing four hymns, sing four hymns after we read the Bible. And sometimes, you know, when my children were little, I would have each of them pick which song they liked, and I would say, okay, what song would you like? And the oldest would pick a song, and we'd sing that, and all the way down to the youngest, and it would be their turn to pick the song. And, but now they're all grown up, and living on their own, my five children, and so my husband and I do the Bible time together each night, and so he, I have him pick the songs, and he likes to do that, so I just, he, we have them all folded, and he has a hymn book as well, we have s several copies of this, so when we were all here together, when the children were little, each would be handed a hymn book, so we'd all could follow along and sing. So my husband and I now each have our own copy, and we just sing the different songs. And let me just see an example of one that I have folded. Um, let me see. I have several folded that I know a little bit, but not as well as others. And it's the ones that I know very well that we sing every night on a regular basis. We pick four out of maybe... 10 or 15, and one of them is When the Roll is Called Up Yonder, that's a beautiful one, and another one is Trust and Obey, I love that one, it's a long one, it has five verses and we, we love that one, Just a Closer Walk with Thee is another good one, and let's see, um, Rock of Ages and Amazing Grace, all very beautiful songs. And I just need to check the timer on the camera to see if I have more time to talk. So hold on just a minute. I only have a couple of minutes, so I thought I would just read a verse to you and then close um, with that. 
and um, let me see, I'll find something in Psalms, Psalms is just so beautiful, and why don't I say, read, uh, let me just see here, just find something. Okay, I'm going to read to you Psalm 100, verses 1 and 2. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. And so that's just what we do for evening devotions, and I want to thank you for visiting with me. Bye.